We're here at Urban Surf. We are at Urban Surf. We're going on the uh, 1 p.m. session, the cruiser session. So we got here a little bit early. Yelena had to do a little bit of programming for the gym. Yep. And I've been wandering around filming some stuff. And now we thought we'd give you our tips because this is about the fifth time we've been here. Uh, so if you're coming here for the first time, here are some of the things we've figured out by uh, fumbling our way through it. When you first get here, you'll have to check in for the first time and they'll give you one of these uh, blue waterproof bands. You get to keep them. You get to keep that and you make a profile on their system. So then the next time you book, it's all linked up and you mm -hmm. actually don't even have to go to the check-in office. You just scan your band on the way through. So there's scans at the uh, entrance and then there's another scan as you get in the water. I've brought my own wetsuit and my own board, but Yelena has to hire a wetsuit and a board. I'd recommend a wetsuit um, for anything other than like 30 degree days. And even then you might want a rash vest. Um, because the water is not heated. The water's not heated, it gets pretty chilly and in winter it gets very chilly. If you've yeah. never been surfing before, then you're booking yourself a lesson regardless and they're going to sort you out with that stuff anyway. That's right, that's all included in the lesson, but if you're just booking a session, book yourself a board and a wetsuit. And then after you arrive, you just go to the rental section and they'll give you a board and your wetsuit. Get changed in the change rooms and about 10 minutes before your session starts, go to the lifeguard hut at the front and uh, they'll give you a briefing on safety and that kind of stuff and how it works. So right now there's a break between sets, right hand side of Urban Surf for those regular and over the other side of that uh, wave generator wall is the left hand side for the goofy stances. Regular is left foot forward, goofy is right foot forward. If you're a beginner, real beginner, there's actually a whole different lesson that goes on at the front of these uh, pools. The coaches there will help you catch what they call whitewash and then it doesn't matter as much whether you're goofy or regular, they'll figure that out in your lesson. So if you've never ever ever surfed before, that you want to start there. You don't want to start down the back here where you're catching um, what they call green waves. I'll go get my stuff, get a locker for my backpack because they have lockers and the lockers are free, which is nice. And then we'll put our wetsuits on, which is very difficult. And then we better do some warm up stretches before our brief. It's important to stretch before you go out. Dynamic stretches and also a few um, sort of simulated pop-ups on the surfboard. You don't want your first uh, pop-up to be completely cold trying to catch a wave. It uh, rarely goes well. Paddle, 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 paddle. All right, it's almost time for us to go to the briefing. Final tips, don't forget to drink water before you go out. It's a long hour, so drink some water before you head out there. There's free helmets to take out if you're worried about hitting your head on the bottom. It is concrete, but I've never hit my head and they do show you how to sort of cover up if you do have a, a crash in the shallower parts. When you get out there, don't feel like you've let yourself down if you don't get up on your board. This is our, I think it's my sixth or seventh time here. And it was only the last time I came where I probably got up and rode the waves, 50% of the waves I've caught. The first few times we came, I probably stood up once. And it takes time, just with anything, and practice. It's fun to be a beginner. Yeah. paddle out along, if I'm on the right wave, I'm paddling out along uh, with this big wave maker on my left. And because of the way it all works, there's like a rip that helps pull you out along this wave maker. And you just, you want to stay close, but not too close, a couple of meters away. So when you get out here, there'll be a lineup of people waiting to go. And then there'll be, uh, guy in red directing people where to start from, which is right where the blue dots are. He's going to pull people forward when their turn comes. On the cruiser wave at the start of the session, there's five session, uh, five waves and then a gap, and then five waves and then a gap. So there's plenty of time to get back out here and have a break before your next wave. And then halfway through the session, it goes to 10 waves and then a gap. When it's your turn, you get two chances if you miss both ways, you've got to get out of the way. Let the next person go and then join the back of the line.
I got dunked on that last one, so I should have stopped when I thought I would. We're done. We're done. Another one down. How did your session go? I think it went well. It started out a bit bad. And bad by, I got dunked by the first two or three waves before I actually stood up. I probably would have booked coaching again, um, but I don't think the option was available for this session anyway. Riding a wave and not knowing what went wrong. If I'd done a lesson with someone during that, they would have been watching me, giving me immediate feedback when I came back around to the wave each time. It probably took me five waves to think, oh, maybe I should move up a little bit on the board and see if that changes anything, and I caught the next wave. Website says I caught 13 in total, but I didn't stand up on all 13 of those. So the website, there's actually like QR codes and stuff around where you can get uh, photos and footage of you riding the waves, but they'll be like watermarked and stuff. So you have to pay for them if you want to yeah. actually use them. And we'll probably put some of them in this video so you'll be able to see what they look like. And they film every wave that goes. But on the website, unless you pay for it, you only get to see one of your waves. Basically, we just did the cruiser wave session with no lesson. If you're a beginner, get the beginner lesson and you'll be right at the front of the bay catching the little white water waves. But that's the best way to learn to stand up. If you're if you've done that before, but you want to get better, but you're not ready to go all the way out the back onto the bigger waves, then there's one called beginner progressive. Yep. And then the lessons that you normally do are cruiser lessons. And, I, and I've done one of them as well. And they're on exactly the same waves that we were just on, but they start on land and they work with you on popping up and stuff. And then they take you out the back and they'll coach you while you're catching the waves. You can, if you're more advanced than that, pick a wave type that you think will suit. There's progressive turns and intermediate and advanced and they just get harder and harder and, and bigger. So I'm gonna try progressive turns next time, I think, see if the wave's a little bit more um, powerful. I mean, if you've been thinking about doing it, just come and give it a go because it is a lot of fun. It's expensive, but it is fun. It's, an hour is definitely enough to, you're tired by the end of the hour. That's probably, it is expensive. Um, and if you're tossing up between just coming and coming and getting a lesson, I think to add the lesson or the coaching on the top is only an extra $20. So it, it's well worth the value to have someone. Especially if you have to hire a surfboard and a wetsuit anyway, because all of that's included in the lesson. So that's probably the best value. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. We'll answer them if yeah. we know. <laughs>